Can you use Ichiro Miyata's Jolt Counter in a real fight? Let's find out. So the Jolt Counter is just a perfectly timed counter where Miyata slips the opponent's punch while throwing an overhand. And while it's normally depicted as a backhand technique, you can definitely use it with your lead hand as well. Miyata executes this technique by stepping forward and slipping his head to the outside. As he does this, he throws a simultaneous overhand punch that has his full weight and momentum behind it. The force of Miyata stepping forward and slipping down is added to the opposing force of the opponent, doubling the power of the punch. The main drawback of this technique is if you mess up the timing, you end up walking into your opponent's punch and everything I just said applies to you. It's high risk, high reward, and some boxers like Itagaki elect not to use it for that very reason. So, could you use Miyata's jolt counter in a real fight? Yes, in fact, not only is it very similar to another technique people have been asking me for, but being able to take advantage of minuscule openings despite the risks is a key element of high-level boxing. Follow me and use code NOTDEADYET for 10% off.